community is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. An area community prepares for its fifth annual Suey Fest. <laughs> and with a name like that, you know it's going to be a good time. You know it. Joining us now is Stephanie Finney, the Vice President for Neoga Partnership for Progress. So what, we're trying to figure out what Suey Fest is all about. Well, it's about so much. It's a ton <laughs> of fun, let me tell you. Um, Suey Fest is an event that's organized by the Neoga Partnership for Progress. And it's basically just to kick off the fall season, bring the community together, and show people what Neoga has to offer. Because we're a really small town, but we have a lot of great things going on. Well, when I think of Suey, I think of Arkansas Razorbacks from my time at school oh, down there. Oh, yes. So is that, does it have anything to do with pigs or hogs? It, it does. Okay. It does a little bit. Um, the main event of the whole festival is our smoke-off. And oh. what that is, is uh, smokers come earlier in the day and they smoke all day. And we have awards in five different categories. We have a grand champion. Then we also have a champion in chicken, pork, ribs, and this year's new category, which is mystery meat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I... That no. sounds scary. I, it does. I don't know if I really want to try that or really don't want to try that. You probably... Yeah, it's, it, I can't tell you what it is, but it's hilarious. Is it, I can huh. tell you Does that. everybody have to use the same mystery meat? They do. They do not know. The smokers do not know what it is till they get there that day. I see. So they're going to totally have to be creative and come up and with it. Oh, I love people it. people eat it, do they know what they're eating? I think so. Okay, I'm so sure. it's given away. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, we also have a free ham and beans lunch from 12 to 3, free ham and beans and cornbread. So that's, you know, goes with the whole bacon, ham sure. thing. Um, we also have a bags tournament, which is put on by friends of Lake Matt Toon. We have a dunk tank. Um, we have a home run derby. We have a local Cumberland County travel team that was looking for a fun way to do a fundraiser. So they're going to do a home run derby. Fun. I yeah. understand there's some money on the line for those who are actually doing the smoking of the meats. Yes, there is. There is a cash prize as well as bragging rights. So <laughs> they, take it, they take it pretty serious. But the but the other competition is the pigtail contest. That gets more and more popular every year. And um, I think there are little girls that haven't cut their hair since last Suey Fest. And that's a little more competitive than the smoke off. Is it, is it, <laughs> is it length? Is it, it is style? What, how are you judging this? Yes, well, this? Studio 165, which is a salon in town, hosts this every, okay. every year. And they do a great job. And they have the measuring tape. And they have a certain way where it's consistently measured. And um, it gets really competitive, but they're good sports. So. Well, yeah. lots of family fun to be had yes. in the yoga, including mm -hmm. kids' games, like you mentioned, and a tractor pull. Yes, yes. I'm glad you mentioned that because um, our local school district is just on fire adding fun new programs. And one of those is our FFA program. And they are doing the tractor pull for kids, which was super popular last year. There was a huge line of kids waiting on that. <laughs> and we've also added art, a new art curriculum back. So our kids finally have an art club after a few oh, years. Great. So they will be there doing face painting, which will be great. So it's yeah. not your run-of-the-mill face painting. Uh, suey is how you call pigs, right? Is there pig right. calling of any sort? Does Can this you happen? do it? Because I was just going to have, have Heather demonstrate for Oh, us. no. Uh, maybe, maybe later. <laughs> maybe later. I'd rather talk about free ham and beans for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I would too, quite frankly. It's pretty popular. <laughs> but we, we well, also have live entertainment, and most of them are local artists, which is fun, and a beer tent. And Allie Keck, who's an artist in Nashville, is a hometown girl. So she's coming back to New Yoga to perform for oh, the weekend. Great. So there's tons of stuff. Maybe we can fun. shoehorn some yes. people calling in there next okay, week. When, when is it? Oh, it is this Saturday. Okay. Yes, it all kicks off at noon until 9 p.m. Ish. All right. Well, a great amazing. time to check out yoga if you yeah. haven't already yeah. done so. We'll hey. connect you with all the details. Sorry, I'm just no, going to step on you there. And uh, <laughs> our <laughs> Facebook page has all that information for you. It's going to be a good time. It is. Coming up later, film critic Chuck Kaplinski is going to review actor Brad Pitt's new movie. We'll see if he thinks it's out of this world. And next, dinner and a movie with Mama T's Pizza. Why, you'll love it any way you top it. <laughs>